Panda tutorial, yeah, this is going to be a really, really crazy one. It's going to be so much fun and Wakanda forever, obviously. I'm just wetting my beauty sponge and just popping in some white face paint all over the face just as a light layer and then I'm going to go over the top with more foundation with a foundation brush. Now the foundation brush actually causes streaks which causes my face to look like it's furry which is good. I'm just covering the whole face except for the eyes because I'm gonna go over with my Illamasqua eyeliner and just drawing like a round shape. It curves in around my tear ducts and then outside on my outer corner it curves in and then back out like that and then I draw another round sort of shape curve onto my cheeks just like a panda I'm drawing a line for the nose and muzzle area of my face and then curving it back onto my nostril like this I'm kind of drawing like a heart shape but like a you know like a really deformed heart <laughs> Yeah, curving it in and connecting it all together. And then I'm going to draw on the bottom lip and over drawing it a little bit and extending it out into sort of um, kind of like a extended smile. And then I'm just drawing some guidelines of where I want a shadowing to be. These are just guidelines so that I know where to apply the black. Now that you look like that, I'm just going to be using a black face paint and filling in the nose. And then make sure it's really, really black as well. And then extending that down onto the top lip. After that, I'm going to be filling in the bottom lip, just the bottom lip. You don't want to fill in the top lip um, with black. And you also want to fill in the eyes as well. All of it, cover everything. Alright, now I'm going to be taking a blending brush with the tiniest, tiniest little bit of black and I'm actually wiping off um, a lot of product onto a tissue and just using it to dry brush black onto my face to make it look like fur and I'm going to be using an angled brush and more white creating long, straight, quick strokes to create the look of more fur. Around the nose area, I am adding more white to kind of highlight certain areas to make them protrude a lot more. Around the eye area, I want it to look like the black and the white sort of disappear into each other. I'm using the angled brush to just draw in more fur strokes around the perimeters of the black and the white so that it looks like hair. <laughs> I'm going to draw in a nose highlight just above my actual nostrils. If you guys end up recreating this look, I would actually, you know, really, really appreciate it. And if you could tag me, that would be fantastic. This was originally inspired by Memeless on Instagram. She's this crazy, crazy talented makeup artist. And I'll leave her link down below as well and she created this panda look, it was freaking amazing. She does a lot of illusion makeup. What I'm doing now is using a fine liner brush and a white face paint. I'm drawing a circle right under my actual eye. You wanna take your time on this because this is gonna be the eye area. After this, you want to create little shine light moments so that it looks like optics. And yeah, you just wanna draw little um, circles and lines inside the white. And then after that, you're done, you're a panda. Close your eyes and you're a panda. I love you guys so much. Comment below, subscribe, recreate this look, and bye guys.